Howdy fellas! Counter-Strike 2 has received another update, which despite being only 90 megabytes, may turn out to be one of the most important and necessary for this long-suffering game. Today, as always, we will take a look at what Valve has managed to fix and peek into some leaks and news regarding to the future of CS2. In fact, there are two updates, one of 10 megabytes and the other of 80. And based on the official list of changes, the main one is fixing multi-threading errors that led to frame rate drops especially if all processors were busy. And if it seems to you that there is nothing special here, well, they worked with the processors and so… <laughs> these errors are precisely what led to the appearance of freezes, especially on low-power processors. And if the owner of i7 and i9 are unlikely to even understand what we are talking about, the guys with the weaker hardware will finally be able to comfortably play their favorite team shooter. No involve, it would be silly to claim that the problem is completely gone, but tests on several PCs show no freezes and more stable FPS overall. Write in the comments if you had this problem and if the update helped you. They also fixed the streaming window, which will broadcast the Major. Hardly anyone will of course watch the Major through it, but okay. By the way, don't forget that on our channel we post the best highlights from CS2 tournaments. A cool leak is related to a file that has been in the game since better times. It's a pack of patches for clothing, an option that was never even close to being in CSGO. What it does is exactly what you thought. It adds patches to the agent's costumes, just like stickers on weapons. It's unclear if these are remnants from the gamer's transfer or groundwork for a future update but it would be at least curious to see this option in the game. Also, there was a leak related to the possibility of weapon keychains appearing in CS2 in the style of Call of Duty. The first keychain can be found on the baggage map where it hangs on the key in the switchboard of the transport belt. In the game code, they found lines related to quests in-game, which are most likely related to the task of leveling up the coin according to predictions. For example, win that many rounds on this map and so on. In the Panorama UI code for inspecting items, a tag appeared that is directly related to the background for inspection, which refers us to the major update, specifically to the store, where the item inspection background was usually in the tournament's color palette. And for some news, Valve cannot ban the most cocky cheater. <coughs> Streamer Demo Wallhacks played 100 matches in Premier mode, in which he met 81 cheaters. 81, Carl! And this is at 20,000 CSR points. And this is despite the fact that one of the cheaters has already played 200 matches and is directly asking Valve to ban him. They won't. Write in the comments what you think about the new update, whether you cheat, and what do you feel about the cheaters in the game. You hit the like button and subscribe. And I should get going.